I was asked many times how I do Navajo ply on a spindle. Um, I can only do it on spindles that have got a hook on either end, depending on the style you use. I use for this, uh, when I'm spinning something that I need to Navajo ply, I use these vintage Italian spindles with a removable whorl. I've got three of them and on another one I've got my span single. Now, it works exactly as when you are actually plying, uh, Navajo plying on a wheel. And uh, I do, it, the system is the same where you make a chain a chain with the single and um, when I put the chain, when I put the work away, uh, I block my chain with a washing peg. So now I can remove the washing peg and the secret to do this successfully is actually to bring the hook as near as possible to the beginning of the chain. So the width one hand I can keep the spindle and I can keep my loop in this position so that it, does, I, it doesn't twist on itself and I can successfully pull the single through it. Now instead of making a, a short chain like I would do on a wheel and then go on directly making another one when I do it with a spindle, I do a chain as long as my arms would allow it. So actually, I'm much happier Navajo plying with a spindle because I get less knots of where the, um, where the chain stops. So then I pull this up, I let the spindle hang and I spin it counterclockwise. Usually a full uh, turn of the spindle gives me enough ply, enough twist to ply this length. It does depend on how heavy your spindle is and how much it spins because some spindles spin more than others do. Depends how aerodynamic the design is. Uh, then I check my twist and this is already good let's see if we can manage to film it uh, if you can manage to bring it in focus can you see it in focus yeah yeah kind of. okay i hope he's really seeing it in focus but anyway once you've done your length you i unhook the top and I store my fresh reply yarn on the spindle. And again, I go as near the chain as I can with my hook. So there again, I can pinch it here and have total control of the loop over there, which otherwise it would twist. Again, I do an arm's length. And then when I get here, I just pinch the middle thread with this, the middle yarn with these two fingers. I place my index finger there so that I have my next loop. And I pinch the three singles there all in the same place so that I don't, I get an even twist and I'm ready to ply again. Okay, happy Navaco plying everyone. Goodbye.